Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Enchantments, so the uh, se series where I uh, talk about uh, um, what item, uh, what enchantments uh, do, and what items, and recommend you uh, what enchantments you should use. Um, so we're focusing mainly on range here, with the bow, the trident, and the crossbow. Um, so uh, let's start off with the bow. Um, this first set here, oh, and I've got a little uh, friend here to help. But this one has flame, power, punch, and mending. The only problem with uh, this one is that uh, um, you cannot have uh, both infinity and mending at the same time. Um, which, oh, like a baby. There we go. Um, which is a bit of a pain in the bum because. Um, if you're in survival, which I'm not, I'm in creative, so I don't know why I spawned in a bunch of arrows in here. Um, you will probably have to uh, carry some arrows with you. Now, if there was something like, oh, I don't know, an item that you put on your bag to store arrows that um, had its own separate inventory that, you know, was like the size of a chest where you could just put arrows in and then it would use up the arrows in the order you put them in, top left, top to bottom right. Um, but no. So, unless a quiver gets put into the game, I really wouldn't suggest using um, mending on it, because even though mending is useful for just like um, uh, getting uh, durability back, um, just infinity as, uh, um, you know, just infinity being good is just too useful to uh, not uh, have on it because it just saves you a bunch of inventory space, which is the only difference between these two. Um, this one has infinity where, um, as you can see, I've got no arrows in my inventory. Um, and now if I go into... Zero, game mode zero. Get a single arrow out of this chest. It doesn't use up that arrow. Where... Oh, yeah, this one does use up the arrow. But the um, durability lasts a lot longer because, um, you know, it's uh, got mending on it, so it'll just repair itself. Um, so yeah. yeah, just might as well just chuck them in there. Next is the trident. Now the this is really cool. So uh, we have impaling, riptide, and mending, which this is the one I would uh, suggest the most using out of the two riptide because. You can't use it as range, shallow water, I know, but you can still use it as melee, which um, is as strong as a diamond sword. But um, where it really comes into its own is, if you're in the water, you can use it to swim. And if I aim at this ground, it uh, uh, damages the ground when you hit them. And you can launch yourself out of the water, and if you have um, a pair of elytra, which I'm just going to pop back into creative to get quickly. Get a pair of elytra. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's three drop to try it. Oh, that's funny. Uh, you just put the uh, elytra on. You launch yourself out of the water, and then you can glide down. And this is one of the best ways um, to get around the overworld. If you just set up um, near important uh, places, a little one by one hole of water, then you can just jump into that hole of water, and then just launch yourself into the sky and then glide and that is the easiest way uh, to make a small 
like little like t elytra takeoff area. Um, but not only that, but if I just go here quickly and I set the weather to rain, you can fly even without elytra. You will probably die though if you're not careful, so I would definitely just suggest combining this with elytra to just go insanely fast for an insanely long period of time. Until you go over a desert or any biome where it won't rain, and now that we're back in the biome that it will rain. But even then, uh, you can just travel so many blocks. I just look at my coordinates and the elytra. The elytra. Oh no, the elytra didn't break. What happened there? Guess the game must have glitched or something. Yeah, just look how fast you can go. Oh no, wait. <laughs> I was going so fast I hit the world border. That's what happened. Um, so yeah, you can go faster than the world can load. So that uh, that is definitely one reason why you should almost always have a riptide uh, um, elytra, uh, riptide uh, um, trident on you. Let's just change the web to clear. Oh wait, no, I actually want it to be Thunderstorm now. Because, so, if you're not using a um, Riptide Trident, um, a channeling one is not bad at all. Because if it's raining, it, you know, loyalty, and it has loyalty, mending, channeling, and impaling, you know, definitely not a bad choice. Um, and uh, especially if you're going for mob skulls, because this will charge a creeper. And it won't one shot those things really, but like seriously, just bam, bam, and you're dead. Um, so this, this is actually a strong um, contender for a um, good, uh, uh, for a good weapon. Uh, ranged and melee. The only pr real problem with the trident is that it does have the durability of an iron sword, which um, is a bit of a deal breaker because you know, it's not the best. Like, it's not the end of the world, uh, but you would definitely want something that has more durability. So definitely on this, um, definitely with the trident, do have. Um, mending on it and oh the only other problem I can really think of with it is that it doesn't go too far like yeah you can, uh, can go quite away but it's not it doesn't have the furthest reach out of um, all of the ranged uh, uh, weapons you can get um, so yeah I'm just going to pop them back in there and uh, clear the weather once again. Next, we have the crossbows, which... Ah! I'm being attacked by a drowned with a trident. Oh, good. Uh. Yeah. They're, they're definitely not fun to go up against, especially early game rounds with tridents. But yeah, um, both of these have mending on them uh, because mending, uh, sorry, infinity will never work with a crossbow. So um, yeah, you can't have infinity on a crossbow, which I think is a bunch of rubbish, and I think it needs changing in the new next combat up, combat update. Um, so that you can um, have men uh, infinity on these. Um, but crossbows are my personal favourite. They have the most range out of all f all of these three, and they do the most. Uh, uh, well, they uh, cross uh, regular bows do the most amount of damage out of all the enchanted ones. Unenchanted crossbow it does the most range damage, uh, but crossbow has the 
fastest firing rate out of all three. Which is why I think Infinity should be uh, on it. Uh, because, um, you know, that would just make uh, the whole thing about it being the fastest one. Um, at, when you get quick charge, just a bit better. So, um, this one has uh, uh, multi-shot, which is the coolest one out of them, in my opinion, where it shoots three arrows at one time. Uh, this does not have flame on it, uh, I think it's just because uh, there's not a block there. A little bit of building over like there, but yeah, just three arrows. And you can see how quickly these come out. Right. And uh, uh, look, 55, 54. So you're shooting three arrows for the price of one. Um, but unfortunately, you can only pick up one of the three. Um, so this isn't a way to get infinite arrows. Um, now, if multi-shot did allow you to pick up uh, multiple arrows and it didn't have infinity, then um, that I guess that would be a be good. But um, piercing definitely needs infinity. What piercing does? I'm gonna have to whack this button a few times. Piercing will hit through multiple um, mobs. So you can see a bunch of them took damage there. So, um, these two, what I would say with these is that um, piercing is more of a long range kind of weapon that, uh, thanks to the crossbow just having, if I could aim this, uh, why am I so bad? God damn it! Uh, thanks to the crossbow. Oh, thanks to the crossbow's long range, it is best. At, there we go. Is best as a long range weapon, where you know you just um, shoot um, hostiles from afar and then just run in and collect all their XP and everything. Um, So, so I spawn the zombie in um, as a little demonstration. We come over here. We just snipe him from over here. And he's dead. So I do think um, quick charge and piercing um, is the best for long range um, combat. But um, for like short range combat. Um, if I just quickly go into um, game mode 1 here and just like get some spawn eggs here we go get some uh, witches get some witches in here <laughs> if you're fighting like a bunch of um, hostiles in a uh, short area um, wait, yeah, multi-shot is the best, because look, you just hit, I just hit three there. You don't even really have to aim that much, you, you know, with three arrows, you're pretty much guaranteed to kill something. Or hit something. Um... So I would suggest using um, multi shot as more of a medium range um, weapon. I do not think it's possible to. Well, uh, I do not think it is possible to hit them with more than one arrow uh, at a time. So uh, I would suggest using this as more of a close well, mid uh, range weapon, um, and then. You was the piercing as more of a long range weapon. Like this isn't bad as a long range weapon, but um, multi shot pretty much it has no um, bearing on it to be on it as a long long range weapon. But it does make it a fantastic and a better mid range than a long range weapon. 
Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. Which one would I suggest out of these to use? Uh, it's pretty much just comes down to personal preference. So, like I said with the um, crossbows, um, unenchanted they do the most damage and are the slowest. But to enchanted they uh, uh, load the fastest and it, um, do but do less damage than the regular bow, uh, the um, enchanted bow. And if I go into here, um, and then just like get a bunch of like um, bow, bows, uh, crossbows. Something cool you can do is uh, charge them all up. Oh, I did not want to get on the horse. And then just fire, switch to the next one, fire, switch to the next one, dead. And then just reload them all. Which is something unique to the crossbow. And I would definitely say is... With considering, my main problem with this is that it just takes up too many inventory spaces. Also, it doesn't get flaming on it, but you can do that, but there's not really that too many opportunities where you'll have um, fire to um, light your arrows. So, um, that is something. I, I think the crossbow definitely should... Uh, be buffed and get um, infinity um, and maybe power and punch because it is uh, supposed to and uh, it is supposed to like uh, be more of the hard slower loading and harder hitting and then maybe give the bow quick draw I think um, and the trident I think the trident definitely is something you definitely should have that at least one of like you should definitely sh uh, so again here we have riptide and the uh, you know channeling and impaling the riptide one I definitely say anyone should have because this isn't so much a um, weapon as it is a tool to get to uh, to get to places really quickly especially if it's raining um, so I would definitely suggest having one of these. Um, but the um, loyalty and the uh, um, channeling, the loyalty and channeling uh, trident is not a bad option either. Again, um, you will want um, mending on it because its durability is too low. Like, give it somewhere in between iron and diamond durability. I think that's the only thing that really needs to be changed with the trident. Give it somewhere between... Iron and diamond. They're not as so good as diamond, but not as bad as iron. Um, somewhere in the, in between, and uh, um, you'll have a pretty good uh, weapon there. Um, and the bow is, you know, the bow's the classic. You know, if you want just um, to just like one shot um, most common mobs, you know, just flat out one shot most things. Um, but you don't want any fan. It, yeah, the bow's good, but it doesn't have any of the fanciness of like uh, the trident with you being able to take your places or um, or um, being able to uh, summon uh, thunder and lightning from uh, the from the sky. Or uh, and it doesn't have the thing with um, the crossbow where you can have multiple loaded at the same time and then just do that. Where the bow, you have to do that. Um, and again, the crossbow is the fastest charging, so um, I think DPS-wise, bow, crossbow, um, that's a one-shot. I'd say they're roughly the same DPS. Like, the crossbow would takes two shots, the bow takes one shot, but it takes a lot, it is uh, slower to load. Um, but the crossbow does not have infinity, and there is not a fletchling. Uh, fletchling? It's not fletchling. That's a Pokemon. A quiver. There is not a quiver in the game, so um, having to carry around stacks of arrows is a turn off for me personally. Um, which is why me per like 
if the crossbow got infinity, then uh, I would uh, pick the crossbow almost every time. Uh, but without in without that having infinity, I would probably go for the trident, especially early game, because the trident's channeling and just the fact that it can do both long and short range makes it more versatile. And I think it's that's and it and I think that just gives it the slightest edge above the bows and crossbows, with them with like you know them only being good at long range and medium range if you're using multi shot, um, where the trident is good at long and short range and medium range, so there's not really um, any we any time where a trident is at a really disadvantage um and i think i might even go for a shield i don't know about that uh could go for a shield could not i don't i can i get another player in here to test that quickly uh i need another controller which will just take me like five seconds i'll just, just detach joy cons see if we can get another player in here Ah, nah, Nintendo Switch, the whole Nintendo Switch Online thing. Hold on, I'll be right back and sort this out. Right, so I've turned multiplayer off, so I just need to get um, the second player in and get give them a shield and test it out on the shield quickly. Uh, thinking about it, I've not really seen seen the trident with um, channeling used in combat, really, but mm, I'm a while... Guess I'm guessing new. No. I'm guessing it won't activate um, channeling if it hits the shield, but um, that's what testing's for. So just get player two in here. Well, I turned multiplayer off. Settings. I'm not getting a Nintendo Online the membership for eight. Yeah, multiplayer's off. God damn it, Minecraft! Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so it doesn't work when it hits the shield. Oh, huh, just channeling. Pretty sure that was supposed to electrocute you. Come on. Do I, 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 I have an enchantment in mind? Because I'm pretty sure Challenge's the one that does that zom zombie. Of course, why not? Huh. Oh, there you go. So let's try that again. Yes, it does do it if it hits the shield. Which is uh, something the tried. Another thing the trident has above all the others is that um, it doesn't really care about the shield. If you have a shield up or not, it's still gonna hit you with lightning through the shield. Do be careful. Though. So yeah, trident is probably the best after them with channeling, of course. As long as it's thundering, which is annoying. Oh, it would appear that it destroyed my trident. Oh, I know that's it. Oh my god, I think I'm pretty sure it's not supposed to do that. Oh my god! Okay, that is a weird glitch. And it's not stopping for anybody, and I've lost my trident. 
for the heck's going on here? So, the shield hitbox is the same, so if I go up, yeah, yeah, if I make this one, yeah, there we go, that's sort of fixed it. Okay, I, I don't know if it's supposed to do that. Yeah, that is the trident, the crossbow, and the, the, the uh, um, regular bow. So, yeah. Um, each have their own unique uh, um, uses, and it, um, you know, thing, and it, uh, each one can do something the others can. The bow can one shot and has infinity. Um, the trident that uh, uh, can summon lightning, and it, um, the crossbow can uh, uh, retain its charge even if you switch to another item, and it has. Um, triple shot and it has the longest range out of all of them um, so it pretty much is just whichever one you think is the best if you like the fact that you can summon lightning and make charge creepers and get uh, mob heads from that then channeling uh, trident is where you go also um, riptide you know, if it's just raining at all riptide is probably the, the most fun enchantment you can have if you've got um, Elytra um, and you know bow and crossbow uh, pretty good um, you know crossbow with multi shot uh, better for hordes and uh, mid uh, range combat um, and bow and crossbow with uh, air piercing better for long range combat anyway I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!